Today I'm gonna to show you an awesome way to add text to the videos that you edit in your mobile app. On this channel, I have reviewed so many mobile editing apps, but like the one gripe I always have is I don't think that the text elements in there are strong enough. There's never enough fonts or control. So today I wanna to show you an app that is awesome for adding text to your videos. This video is not sponsored. I don't have an affiliate code. I just found this app in the app store and I love it. I wanted to share it with you guys. It's called Vaunt. So when you open up Vaunt, you kind of get this like graph paper look here. And if you hit this three lines, you can add a new video. It opens up your camera roll and I am going to select this clip right here. I'm gonna hit use original video. So it's gonna maintain my 16 by nine aspect ratio, but I could also make it square. And here my video is loaded. Now this shot that I've selected here is from another video I created about how to shoot awesome videos with your iPhone. You should definitely check that out. I'm gonna to link to that right here. So to add text to this clip is really easy. What I'm gonna do is just click anywhere on the frame and select add text and I can type in my text into this box and I can change the alignment by hitting this middle button here. So align left, align center, align right. Because I'm just doing one line, it doesn't really matter because I can position this text anywhere, but let's just do align center. Now I can change the font by hitting the font button and you guys, this is where I could not believe how many fonts are in the Vaunt app. And in addition to this, you can upload your own fonts as well, but why would you need to? Most of these fonts are free. If you see here, some of them have that little like padlock symbol next to them. That is an in-app purchase to buy the font pack so you get to unlock a whole bunch of fonts for one low price. But honestly, I don't see the need for it at this point unless you were you know, making a ton of videos and you wanted them all to have different fonts. Let's just pick one of the more fun ones. I'm gonna pick this one and I'm gonna hit done and there it is applied to my video. Now, if I wanna change the size of this font, you would think you could just pinch with your fingers and resize like with a lot of other apps, but with Vaunt, you can't. It's a lot more technical, um, so it's not quite as intuitive as I wish it was, but I don't care because the end result is so much better than pretty much any of the other apps I review because there's so many options with this. So if I wanna resize it, I'm gonna hit that size button and I can scale it down. I'm gonna add it to my negative space here in the shot. And then if I want to rotate it, I hit tilt and I can spin it this way or that way. Let's leave it like that. Now we can go to style. And here is where we can modify the color of the font. Now you can see there's all these pre-selected colors for you to choose from, but you can also use these sliders to really customize your color. I love that. I love how many options for colors there are. To be honest with you, I do wish it had a color picking app because whenever I'm adding text to a video, I'd like to pick a color from my frame. So in this case, I wanna do sort of this lime green that matches the lime in my cocktail. And it's not quite exactly right, so I can select that color in the presets and then just sort of like modify it a little bit with these sliders. I'm gonna land right there with it. Now we can change the opacity by sliding up and down this alpha button here. That's actually gonna change the opacity. And then look down here, if I click these three lines, they have color patterns, so each letter can be a slightly different color. This one's actually pretty good, it matches my cocktail. Or you can go back and hit create color pattern, and so then you can select up to five uh, different colors that your fonts could rotate through. Now let's click on over to style at the top of the screen and it defaults to the drop shadow setting. So if we wanna see the drop shadow, we're gonna dial up that alpha, that's the opacity. We can change the blur, we can change like the direction so it's, it looks like it's being lit from the right or left or from the top or bottom, depending on how you want your drop shadow to land. Uh, we can change the kerning of our letters, so that's the spacing 
between the letters. I can crowd them together or spread them apart. Um, or I can change the spacing of the lines. If I had a second line, which I do not have, I can change the spacing there. That's a lot of control and I love that. The other thing you can do is uh, add an underline under your text so the default is none. If you hit none, you can see there's all these different options that they have for underlining your video. I'm gonna go back to none on this one. I don't think we need it. Let's hit done on that. Uh, the next one we can do is move. So I can just kind of arrow up or down my text. To be honest with you, I just don't think there's a need for this because you can actually drag the text in your like canvas window over your clip. So I don't feel that that's necessary personally. The next thing you can do is if you slide your finger over all these options is this one here is called curve. And what the curve lets you do is actually bend the text in a circular way, which I really love too. Let's give it a little bit of a curve. Now, once we formatted what our text is gonna say, the font, the style, the curve, we can actually have the text fly in in different ways and we can add it over just parts of our video instead of the whole duration of the clip. Let me show you how to do that. So if we draw our attention to the bottom of the frame here, you can see that I have this orange bar highlighting where in the clip the text is gonna land. So for these first several frames, let's say it's the first four seconds, there's no text. And then as we get further into the clip, the text just pops on. I actually want the text to come in earlier and I don't want it to just pop on. I want it to come in kind of cool. So let me show you how to do that. I'm gonna click that text and now you can see I've got this red box around the duration of my clip at that bottom screen there. And if I drag my playhead back, you can see the orange highlight expands. And so that shows you where my text is actually going to be overlaid in the clip. Now, I don't want it to just pop in like I said. So see this little icon here that says none on the bottom left corner? I'm gonna click that. And this is where I can change how my text comes in. So I can, it, right now it's defaulted to none. That means it just pops in. I can have it fade in. I can have it slide in from the left or the right. I can have it zoom in or zoom out or traverse left or right, which just means that the text is gonna like fly across the screen. So I can also change how long it takes for these transitions to happen. So the longer duration I have up to two and a half seconds means that it's gonna take like two and a half seconds to fade in, which to be honest is a very long time. I'm gonna uh, set it to 0.64 and let's have it slide in. So I'm gonna hit slide. You can see that check mark has appeared next to slide, which means I've selected it. And then let's change the out. I'm gonna have it fade out. And I'm gonna have it fade out pretty fast. So I'm gonna change that duration there at the bottom. And I'm gonna hit done. And let's see how this looks. If I want to preview what I've done, just click anywhere outside of the video clip and cue up your playhead to the beginning at the bottom timeline on your app and hit that play button. Let's see what happens. So it slides in like we expected. Now it's gonna fade on out. So once you're happy with the way your clip looks, you can either add more text or choose to export. If you wanna add more text, let's say we wanted to add text after our happy hour text, I'm gonna select that happy hour. I'm gonna shorten the duration that it's on the screen. And then I'm gonna add text again by clicking on the video. And I'm gonna say 5 p.m. And I'm gonna make sure that, that comes on after our happy hour. I'm gonna resize it so it's bigger. I'm gonna change the style. So I'm gonna modify the color. I'm going to select those three bars to select a different color palette. Let's do this one here. I'm gonna hit done and I'm going to change the way that it comes into my frame. So let's click that little icon bottom left of the screen and let's have it zoom in, oops, zoom in. And then I'm gonna have it continue to the end of my clip so I'm not gonna give it an out point. And now if we wanna preview that, click anywhere else besides your video, cue up that playhead, hit the play button Perfect. 
Now, if we're happy with that, let's hit this share button, bottom right corner. And if we want to upload it 4K, we do need to spring for the pro kit, which is just a few dollars. Um, it doesn't really give you a ton of extra features from what I can tell. I'm gonna just stick with this resolution. I'm gonna hit export and I'm gonna save it to my camera roll. And it exports really fast. Usually in the upload or export process, that's kind of where I find that a lot of apps kind of have some hang time. They don't export or upload as fast as you want. This one is like pretty speedy. I'm really happy with it. So the thing to know about Vaunt is it's not like a full-blown editor like InShot or Video Leap where you can cut an entire video sequence together at voiceover music. Vaunt doesn't do any of that. It really just focuses on getting great fonts and text overlays on individual video clips, but that's fine because you can use it in conjunction with a different mobile editing app. So you can edit an entire video together in let's say InShot, save it to your camera roll and then bring it into Vaunt and add your text overlays. Or you can do it the opposite way. You can just bring in individual clips and add text to them, save those to your camera roll and then bring those into your mobile editing app. But I definitely think Vaunt really has stepped up the text over video app game because it has so many options. It's not quite as intuitive as I wish it was where you could just like scale things up by touching the text on the screen the way a lot of other apps do. It's definitely a lot more clicking around, but the amount of flexibility and control you have over the fonts in your text is like amazing. It's hands down better than any other mobile editing apps text function that I've ever seen. So if you liked this app, if you've used it before, let me know what you think about it in the comments. If you're interested in other mobile editing app reviews, I have a whole playlist for you. I'm gonna link to that right here. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, because this is the kind of stuff I do all the time. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.